It's my first makeup application tutorial. I decided I would come in with a bang and a really bad wig. What do you think today's look is going to be? Am I giving you any, any vibes? Okay, I get it. Let me think. I guess it's my turn. Ooh, baby, I'll be stuck to you like glue. Baby, wanna spend it all on you. Baby, my room is the G spot. Call me Tatiana. I can make your face rock. It's Nicki Minaj in the bedrock video. So yeah, stick around and thanks so much for coming. This is up next. First, we're gonna start by lining our eyebrows. So I'm going to be using Stud, which is a MAC brow pencil, which are my favorite eyebrow pencils. I'm going to outline the bottom of my brow first. And then you'll take it out to your extension. I'm going to use the color of espresso. I'm going to take an angled brush, one that I got from Smashbox, actually, and I'm just going to fill it in. And now that brows are filled in, we are going to put on our base before we put on our shadows. And I often use Painterly, which is a color by MAC, in a paint pot. And if you are the type of girl who does not collect makeup and you see I'm taking it all the way up, I'm taking the remnants that's left on the brush. Uh, and I'm just using a concealer brush, by the way. But I'm taking the remnants that's, le that's left on the brush and taking it all the way up to my brow. I worked it over with my finger. Um, oftentimes when you have a thick cream base, like a, um, like a paint pot or uh, different concealers are really, really thick and creamy, if you put your finger to it, it'll add warmth to it and make it spread easier and more evenly. So... With that being said, we are going to move on to shadow. So I'm going to be using a MAC 224. Orb is what we're going to use for our high highlight. Um, Ms. Minaj seems to be wearing all matte colors. So I'm going to outline right under my brow. working it down, but it's the highlight under your brow that can really make your brow pop and look even more shapely than it really is. I'm going to use a 239 and chrome. So worn out, so need a new one. And don't rub the makeup on. You just pat it on. This is called packing. I'm working the color up right into the socket. Okay, so now that chrome yellow is on, I am going to use my fingers. And I'm going to use the color, this is on MAC, by the way, um, Melody. I'm going to use my finger. And once again, just pack it on. And I'm going to take Passionate. Trying to duplicate the pink that she has in her eye. Vibrant Grape. Again, using my fingers patting it onto the end. I'm going to take my 228 and I'm going to just lightly blend. I'm not pressing hard. You don't want to erase the color. I mean the goal is to erase it as little as possible. I have a toilet paper roll that I 
wipe the brush off on if I'm going to be using the same thing or the same brush again. And again with the pink, do the same thing, just lightly blending. I am going to take Fig, dark purple, and I'm going to lightly, very lightly, put it right over top of all four colors. I'm going to go back with the light purple, vibrant grape, take a little bit on my brush, and go over it. And just continue to adjust until you've got it right. Makeup isn't just a one-time thing. You gotta keep going back and touching up until you get it where you want it to be. Now that the eyes are done, we can put on some concealer. I am going to be using Max Studio Finish, but I am using my finger, as I always do, for, uh, I'm sorry, there you go. Using my finger, I'm going to pat. And concealer should be like a shade lighter than you are. And concealer also gives you a chance to clear away any unevenness you may have. I'm going to set my eyes with one of my favorite powders, which is a MAC powder. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this entire look to be MAC. This is matte black powder. And I'm just going to dab. Now that concealer is on, we can move to liquid eyeliner. I am going to be using a very worn out looking Rimmel, which is my favorite. Keeping my eye open, I am going to start on the inner corner of my eye. And for my wing, see I just extended slightly. The lashes are on, which by the way, were very difficult to put on because they're so thick. So um, they were not very pliable. I couldn't bend them to my eye easily, making things very complicated. If it's your first time putting on lashes, I would not suggest those. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in under the eye because it seems like Nikki's got some pink under her eye so I'm gonna go in with that pink we used the um, passionate 224 or 228 and I'm just going to line underneath my eye making it a little bit darker on the outer I have put my eyeliner on I put a little black underneath my eyes um, and I used the 24-7 Urban Decay Eye Pencil. And Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj actually lined her eyes, it looks like, from what I can tell, with white. Um, I don't want to do that with me because my eyes are already so big that white makes them look bigger. So now that liner's done, we can go ahead and put a blush on. And she, her blush is very subtle. I'm going to put on Max Deserus but I'm going to put it on very faintly. To do this, you just have to kind of build until you get it right. So, starting on the ball of my cheek, which is this area right here, just very faintly. Here's our pink plaid from MAC. And because that's really super pink, I am going to add Sis just to kind of neutralize it, which is more of a, a nudie color on me. So that's it, y'all. We're done. Add or take away whatever you want to. There's no rules when it comes to makeup because makeup is an art form. It means the world to me that you guys followed my work on Facebook and BeatFaceHoney.com. So I hope that we can stay together in this new venue. Um, I don't know. Let's be best friends. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you guys so much, and I will see you at BeatFaceHoney.com. Bye.